Possible renders of the Google Nexus 5 Surface with carrier detail. Acer's new Windows 8.1 tablet makes it hard to resist your budget. We get some leaked concepts of a possible Nokia smartwatch. I'm Jaime Rivera. And can somebody please tell OEMs to please end this crazy race for the most mediocre and ugly smartwatch? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as obviously Windows 8.1 has now become public and free to everyone and now starts the whole race for the smaller 7 inch or 8 inch tablets running Windows. And such is the case of Acer's new W4 tablet, which runs Windows 8.1 at a very compelling price tag of 330 bucks. Aside from the fact that the spec sheet is very interesting, so links down below for full details and obviously storage options and everything. And speaking of Microsoft, the company is making their support for Windows better, but in competing platforms as they just launched their remote desktop client for iOS and Android. And this runs on iPhones, iPads, and Android tablets and smartphones, and it runs quite well. Only it's a little cumbersome to log in, but still it is the official application. Obviously there are other third party applications out there that can do a similar job, but sometimes people just want the official thing. We know remote desktop has existed for more than a decade, and it is one of the best ways to actually help somebody out or whatever, so make sure you hit the links in the description and get your free version. Now let's talk about Google as the company has just released their quarter results and they're awesome, we don't even need to talk about that, but the interesting company here is Motorola as the company is actually still losing money. It is making a lot less money than it did before, almost $600 million less, but it's losing less money proportionally when compared to last year, last quarter. That means that obviously the company is more efficient, but that also means that the Moto X has not been the phone that they thought it would be, at least in sales. So uh, let's see how Motorola picks themselves up. I mean, do you use a Moto X or do you want one? I feel the phone has really left the buzz recently. And speaking of Google, we've got some leaked renders of the Google Nexus 5, only this time with a TELUS logo from Canada. And we are still debating if this photo is actually real or fake because the TELUS logo doesn't look, you know, in the same angle as the phone, so it could just be a fanfare photo. But one of the most interesting parts about this render is the fact that we don't have an earpiece. It looks like a camera. Uh, and that makes us wonder what exactly is going to happen to the earpiece. Is it at the border or is it part of the camera? what exactly is going to happen with this design. So let's see what we get. It should be launching in the next couple weeks. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, we've known for a long time that Nokia has been working on a smartwatch, especially now that they're under Microsoft's umbrella. But we had not seen prototypes just yet until now that we catch this video of the Nokia Facet, or Facet, whatever you want to call it. And uh, okay, this is a very interesting concept because these are actually six screens that are snapped into a sort of a bracelet. That's supposed to be a smartwatch. You can actually make them work together as an extended display, or you can make each of these displays show you a different thing. And obviously the UI is cumbersome because it's obviously a prototype, but um, it is probably one of the ugliest concepts of a smartwatch that we've ever seen with a very interesting idea. So that leads me to the question of the day. I mean, exactly what would a smartwatch need to do for you for you to consider it over a regular watch? Um, in my particular case, honestly, it's not just about all the things these displays can do. I want a smartwatch that's elegant, not like this Nokia one. And that's also useful in any particular reason that other watches cannot be. So leave us a comment down below. What would you want in a smartwatch? And friends, as always, if you want to get your news earlier before this video gets filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.